okay, people, um, you know, I'm starting a different thing here. I'm recording a different way. And uh, I just want you to let me know whether you like it this way or the other way I was recording. Y'all just let me know. So uh, it is Thursday. It is March 17th. And let me tell you something. Had it not been for me watching an old video of mine last night, I would have forgotten that I have to get my car inspected uh, before the end of this month. Guardian Angel, my Guardian Angel is so on point, it's not even funny. Yes, I believe in Guardian Angels, and yes, I do have one. Uh, so, yeah, because it happened to me before where I forgot that I had to get my car inspected, and I kept getting ticket after ticket on my car, like, every single day, and I was like, what the heck? And then I realized, oh, my inspection ticket is expired. <sighs> So, um, yeah, this Saturday, I already made the appointment. This Saturday, 8 a.m., honey. Yes. Early. Early. Get it done. Get it over. Okay. So, now let's get started with lips of the day. Although, yes, the St. Patrick's Day, and I'm wearing um green, and this is a little bit of a sage green that I'm wearing here. You know, purple really don't go with green, but you, it's purple week. So, I thought this was the closest purple that could sort of get away with what I was wearing without clashing too much. Okay, so let's get started. Let me start off with the liner as usual. It is NYX Deep Purple Lined and Filled. is one that I haven't, I almost forgot that I had, actually. I haven't used it in a while. Maybelline Elixirs, remember these? Maybelline Elixirs, and this one is Vision in Violet. Yep, the Elixir, that's what it's called. It's Vision in Violet. I have done a lip look on it before. And honey, this purple is the ish. It is the ish. Check that puppy out. What, and glossy too? It is a lip gloss. I did say I'd end the week with a lip gloss. So there you have it. And that is it. I have to wipe my hands off now. Oh, here we go. So yes, this is Vision in Violet. And uh, that is lips of the day. So, you know, today is Thursday. I saw little snippets of Scandal, with the Tonight Scandal on Facebook. Oh, Ish is going to hit the fan, honey. Ish is going to hit the fan. I'm trying to keep it PG, people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I know it sounds stupid, but you know what I'm saying. I've got youngins who watch my channel, so I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, deter them from the good path of language. Okay. So, um, scandal tonight, uh, I think how to get away with murder is on tonight. I think, I hope, I don't know what else is on. Um, is anybody watching Hell's Kitchen? You know, they are driving Ramsey crazy. They're driving him crazy. But this chick, Jackie, why is she still there? Why is she still there? And then she admitted the fact that she's only been cooking for three months. For real? Everybody else is leaving except you, but she's the drama queen. So I'm a, I'm sure the producers told Ramsey, you know, keep her on as long as possible because she's bringing in the drama. But she is annoying as all hell. And she swears she's tough as shit. I know I said it anyway. But she swears she is, you know, her, her, her ish don't stink. For real, chicky? Sit down, little girl. I mean, come on now. For real? <clears throat> Excuse me. The one that she was starting a beef with, I've got to give that chick props because Jackie took an ashtray filled with ashes and cigarettes and dumped it on the girl's shoulder. I thought When the girl walked away, I thought she was going to talk to the producers or Ramsey or whoever. No, she just walked away, I guess, to her room or whatever. Jackie needs to come correct. And when she spoke to 
uh, the sous chef, who was originally a winner from Hell's Kitchen. I love her, Christine. Love her. She don't take no lip from no damn body. Um, you know, Jackie admitted that she'd only been cooking for three months and she doesn't want to come across as weak. And Christine was like, if you need help, you need to ask for help. And then Jackie was like, well, yeah, but if I ask for help, then that shows them that I'm weak. And she goes, Christine goes, no, it shows them that you're strong because you're asking for help. You don't think you can do everything on your own. That shows a sign of weakness. So she said, and if you stop with your lip, Maybe you get something accomplished. So Jackie finally realized that, you know, this whole tough as crap attitude is really not going to get you far, except maybe out the door quicker. So in a way, I'm kind of I was really kind of hoping that, you know, just keep it up. But she cannot last. She cannot last because she thinks what you've been cooking for three months and you are on a show to win the prize of being a chef at one of Ramsey's restaurants? When does that happen? I, oh, look at him now. Now look at this one over here. Okay. So that was Hell's Kitchen. Um, I don't remember what else I was watching. Sometimes I watch television and it just goes like this because I'm so damn tired. And sometimes I find myself napping Oh, boo boo, you scared the living crap out of me. Oh, my goodness. One minute he was back there, and next minute he slinkered on over next to me. I think he's waiting for me to feed him again. I forgot to feed him when I got home. He ain't gonna starve. Okay, so, um, so yeah, Hell's Kitchen. And I don't remember anything else that I watched. I know tonight, you know it's Thursday, so don't text me, don't talk to me, don't call me. Tonight's scandal is going to be the ish. I know I'm saying a lot of ish lately, but um, for real, it is going down tonight. Um, so that's basically it. Nothing magical happened at work. Very busy today, but busy, but the time ain't going nowhere. Why is that? Why am I working like a beast? And but the time is tick. I'm like, seriously? <sighs> yeah. So it's that kind of a day. So I really have nothing else to say, people. Let me know what you think about the video, the, the you know, the appearance of it. I know the screen is probably going to be a little smaller, again, like when I originally started. But some have said that when it's smaller, the picture is sharper. And when it's a little wider, it's a little, it's, it's not, it's grain, well, not grainy, but it's, it's slightly fuzzy. Or it's not as sharp. It's not as sharp. So let me know. Do you prefer small screen sharper or wider screen and, you know, or a wider screen? Because wider is always going to make it expand and the pixels will get wider. So you just let me know. Let me know. And, uh, you know, whatever majority rules, as always with my family, I just try to keep it fair. Um, if the majority says, Nancy, keep it this way, then I will continue to record this way. If if they go, if most of my family says, no, we prefer you with a wider screen, then I'll go back to the wider screen. Okay. So just let me know what you think. Um, this is a new way. After I stop the video, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. <laughs> okay. So let me just know what you think. This was Vision in Violet, Maybelline Elixir. Here it is, this beauty. And, um, you know, that's that with that upon that, people. Four down. Thank you, sweet Jesus. One more to go. Okay. So, yeah. I pray that tomorrow goes super fast. Super fast. Okay. All right. So that is that with that upon that. Oh, one more thing. I don't know. Well, again, a lot of you youngins. To probably won't even know who the hell he is. But um, Frank Sinatra Jr. passed away yesterday. Or maybe the day before yesterday. I know I left a note with my father because he's a huge Sinatra fan. Son and father, but mainly father. Father passed away in 1998 or 1988 or something. Um, 
but Junior, you know, he, he looked like his father. He sounded like his father. He was just, he was like a, a clone of his father. And when I read the news, I read it on Facebook. I was like, oh my God. And of course, my father doesn't have Facebook and he wouldn't know. So I left a note with him last, I, le I left a note with him this morning in the little mail slot and then you know, I went to work. So when I call him tonight, I'm sure we'll discuss. But um, I'm sure he probably was devastated. He's, he's probably devastated. In any event, people, you know, life goes on. But, you know, music and Sinatra are like this. And I was named after Nancy Sinatra, which was Frank's daughter, which was Frank Jr.'s sister. So, yeah, my father named me Nancy after Nancy Sinatra, and my mother named me Nancy after a soap opera character whose name was Nancy. At least they agreed on that. My mother originally wanted to call me Kelly, but my father said that sounds too much like a boy. I would have gone, but I don't know if I looked like a Kelly. I would have had to grow into the name. I looked like a Nancy. Uh, I'm not planning on changing my name anytime soon. That's the name I was born with. That's the name I'm going to die with. So there, there you have it, okay? But that's the that's the story of how I got my name. All right, so that's it. That's that with that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know about what you think about the lips, the video, and all of that, okay? I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Mwah! Bye now.